Hey everybody, welcome to The Pagan Perspective. My name is Angel and I am your Wednesday host. And this week we're talking about witch crushes. Okay, the question is from Will and it's, and I'll break it down um, just to basics, but I'll put the question down below as, as usual. And it's, do you have anybody you admire that you have wanted to be more like? And do you have a uh, Dumbledore to your Harry Potter? So, I have uh, three people that just popped to mind on YouTube. And two authors, and then some people in my personal life. Now, I'm not going to talk about anybody on the collab channel because they're just awesome. And that goes without saying, really. They just really are some amazingly cool people so um, I'm gonna go on other YouTube channels now I have a lot of subscriptions to YouTube channels I enjoy a lot watching a lot of people um, and I, I enjoy the variety of that but these people popped right to mind and I'm very much of you know if something is if, if you're if you are inspired go with that so uh, the three channels are charming Pixie Flora Mirth and Reverence, Reverence, and Tiptoe Chick. Now, Charming Pixie Flora and Tiptoe Chick I've been watching for a long time. And Mirth and Reverence, I think for a while too, but I'm not sure exactly how far back. Um, with with ch the things that I admire about them, with Charming Pixie Flora or Flora, she has an incredible zest for life. She's very excited, she gets very into things, but I admire how much she has incorporated her practice into her family, involved them in the practice of, of what she does, and made it uh, a, an incredible learning experience with something that you can really absorb and really feel like you can make it your own. So I admire that about Charmy, <clears throat> about Flora. With Annie and Martha Reverence, she is so zen. She's just such a cool person to watch. She's so full of knowledge. She's just very, like, she's one of those people that you could pull up a nice comfy chair and have tea and co or coffee with and just chat with her the whole day and just feel very inspired and very uh, energized. And so I aspire to be that zenness, you know, to be that, to have that such an incredible peace. Now, with Tiptoe Chick, she is very much, um, she's very knowledgeable, and she is, she also has a, a, a zest for life, but she's also one of those people that's like, look, this is who I am, take it or leave it, like it or not, this is whatever, you know, I am who I am, and I, you know, I'm going to be me, I'm going to do me, and I admire that, and it takes a lot of strength in the world today, but especially on YouTube, because you're going to get some crap for that. And she doesn't seem, it, it doesn't seem to bother her. She just keeps on trucking, and I admire that about her immensely. Um, now, two authors. There's Amber Kay and Phyllis Carrot. Now, I enjoy reading a lot of different authors, and I do read a lot of different authors. Those two, again, popped to my mind, so I thought I would share them. Amber Kay writes great. I love how she writes. It's very easy, it flows really nice, but also she adds humor to her writing. So for me, humor is a huge thing. I have to laugh and I have to enjoy things in, in, in humor and in laughter. And it seems to connect to me better when I can do that, when I find it, when I find that kind of joy. So I really enjoy her writing and, and, and I aspire to have that, that um, appropriate humor. <laughs> in my practice and in my life. Now, Phyllis Curat has a, a beautiful way of putting things that are very hard to deal with. For me and many people, um, death is, is, a, is a, scary, a scary subject. And I love her writing in particular because of a particular uh, paragraph that broke down death in such a beautiful way, which I never thought was possible. And so from that, I just fell in love with the way she writes and the way that she, she takes you on this journey. I want to, I admire that because I want in my own practice to be able to break things down to 
their beautiful pureness and, and not to see them in a way that is so material world, you know, um, I'm not explaining this right. Anyways, um, if you haven't read them, I highly re recommend that you do. They're, they're, they're wonderful authors. Now, people in my own life, uh, one of my dearest friends and mentors passed away in 2014, and I admired, I admired her, and I still do admire the things that I've, I've learned from her uh, uh, tremendously. My friend Donna was such an incredibly beautiful person. And the one thing that, that, I mean, there's so many things that stick out about her and that I can list off, but one thing in particular that I remember when I first met her, she had a necklace that had all these religious symbols on it. And I knew her to be a witch, but I was interested in why she carried all of those, you know, symbols. And it's because she felt connected to them and that she felt like every path led you to enlightenment um and every path was important and every religion was important and i just felt found that to be so incredibly beautiful and inspiring and and it opened me up i a lot to see that every path even though i knew every path had a right to be i I could see in every path the beauty of it. So, um, but I inspired to be more, so much more open to the world as she was. And so she would be one of them. Um, I have an incredibly wonderful friend named Betty. And she is, I, I don't think she knows how much I, I admire her. She is so strong. Um, she, she's just, she's an incredible, incredible woman. She's so wise and she's not, she's not, you know, she's not that old. I mean, comparatively speaking, she's quite a bit younger than me, but she's so wise. And I, I aspire to have that kind of wisdom, that world view. And I try to, and I, and I, that's why I like talking to her because she educates me on a lot of things that I didn't know about. Um, in my tiny little view of the world, she opens it up, and I admire that about her, and I admire her strength, and in the, the, she's very, very comfortable with her darker side, and that is something I admire, because people tend to go, uh, you know, they're squeamish about certain parts of themselves, and not her, she's like, nope, this is who I am, it is what it is, and I love that about her. Now, other people in my life that um, I admire in, in, in uh, that have a witchy crush on, if you will, I don't know that these are necessarily, necessarily crushes. I just admire them. And, and I do aspire to be uh, very much like certain people in my life. Um, I have a good friend that I met years ago in California, and her name's Mary, and she was we still see I still see her on Facebook um, obviously I live on the other side of the country so we don't get to see each other <laughs> or really talk or anything but she was a huge a huge huge part of of the very very beginnings of my you know my path um, I want to say my serious beginnings because I did I did kind of dabble in it quite a bit but when I was really serious about it she was very very much a part of that that um, that dive in and she is so comfortable with herself and so wise that um, I wanted to be more like that you know when you start out on this path sometimes you're very you don't have a lot of confidence you're not very sure of yourself and you kind of want to get, you kind of want to be like, I wish it was two years later. So I just, you know, get all this awkwardness out of the way and feel good about myself and what I'm doing. And when you're around other people that have been on this path a long time and they're very wise and, and everything, you, you said you can tend to feel very intimidated. I never felt that in front of her. I always felt 
very eager to learn from her, but never intimidated. She never made me feel unwelcome or anything. She is an incredible person. And I think that comfortable way of being with people, uh, I aspire to be like. I hope that I do at least have a little bit of that because I want people to be able to talk to me. I want them to be able to tell me how they're feeling if it's about me or I want them to be able to ask questions and I want them to feel like that they it they if they feel comfortable enough to come to me and ask me questions or just talk to me about my path so I think that's it I think that um, I can't really think of too many people other than that and I'm probably leaving somebody out uh, these I just basically what I did was as soon as I read the question I had Thing, people's names pop in my mind and that's what I went with. If I would have thought about it longer, maybe I would have come up with other people, but that's it for now. <laughs> so yeah, awesome question and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns, as usual, please leave them down below. Thank you for the likes and until next week, I will talk to you later. Blessed be. Bye!